What's digging? I'm gonna do a quick video on how I go about splitting these iPhone X boards. You can apply this to iPhone 12, 13, whatever else that needs splitting. There are intricacies and nuances between them, but for this one, iPhone X, let's just get into it. We're gonna need these three things to make this one happen. That's our iPhone X board that needs splitting, our logic board barbecue by Sunshine, the SST12A. And this guy here is my obviously really used 21TA3X. This guy will work with your iPhone X, 10s, and 10s Max. If you Google it, you'll find it everywhere. If not, link in bio. So straight up, I like to remove all the waterproofing adhesive all along here on the board. And I also like to cut this guy here. So then when we lift up the top board from the bottom board, it's not held on by anything. I then like to come in with the screw that came from the iPhone X when we took it apart. Chuck this one on a bit of an angle so you can watch what we're doing. Steadily put it in this guy and just give it a couple of turns, making sure we don't go too deep that we punch the top board. We don't want to destroy things, we want to fix it. Now I do this. So then once it's heated up, I can just come in with some tweezers like these ones, come in here and just pull up on it like that. So then that way it comes up nice and straight and easy. Up next, all we got to do is chuck our board onto our iPhone X heater, switch this one on, and we want to keep it at 100 degrees. And then from here, you're going to find out why my heater is so dirty. I come in with a little bit of flux. I just squeeze a tiniest bit out, and then I use the surface tension of the board to let that flux move in between the layers just here. Once we've done the whole perimeter of the board with our flux, we're going to grab this guy and we're going to turn him up to 200. We can then come in with our tweezers and grab him right here, which will let us remove that dude, just like that. Now, the whole purpose that I found using the screw to remove it is if we actually come in and have a look at these pads, you're going to see that they're all nice and even. There's not an issue with anything along here. And because of that, we can now work on the iPhone X without any issue and then put it back together without needing to be reballed. The extra thing that I'll mention is remove the thermal paste. If you leave it in there, you'll have dramas putting back the sandwich perfect. You'll end up with a phone that doesn't turn on, doesn't have touch, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, etc. But with that being said, I hope this helped you out. Make sure you smash like, subscribe, do all that stuff. Really appreciate it. Till next time. Thanks.